We are live. What's up, everybody? Happy Friday. Week is over. Let's make it happen. I am live on Twitch right now. This is going to be exciting. I guess I'll check it out afterwards. So if you want to watch me on Twitch, I haven't been on Rumble yet. That's a whole other process, but I am live on Twitch, as I promised, and YouTube live. So let's see how this goes. This will be entertaining and fun, so I don't know how the other side will go. So here is to the beginning of good things on Twitch. Shout out to social media across the world to let me get my message across. Hopefully the sound is good. Can I get a sound check in the comment section, please? There is always a glitch for the past two weeks. Hopefully there is no glitch whatsoever. Let me know in the comment section, folks. So let's make it happen. Tonight's live is one of my favorites. I do love talking about cryptocurrency as much as I love talking about stocks. I do like focusing on that because the beautiful thing is you can do it worldwide. The VPN, you name it, brokers across the world, there is ways to do it. Sound is good? Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. So that's why I love crypto. There is no barrier on this earth that can penetrate the way cryptocurrency penetrates. People hear stock market, oh, America, oh, you got to have money, oh, I don't know. But when they hear cryptocurrency, I have a chance. Oh, my country allows that. Oh, I can do a use a VPN. These things make me happy because my work is universal across the world. And I know I resonate with a lot of people on that factor as it is. So let's make it happen. Let's go. All is good. Can someone jump on Twitch and see how that's going and let me know? Is the sound good? Can someone record it? Send it to me on Telegram. Boom, boom, boom. So welcome, everybody. What's up, Ryan? CD Remarked. Steven, hey, Professor. New to your program. Just got your book. Appreciate you getting my book, Steven. And looking forward to learning. I love it. By the way, everything is daytradeprofessor.com. If you want the hardcover, it's the only one that exists, the hardcover, fifth edition. Cover stocks, crypto, forex. Link down below for the mentorship, the free. If you're broke, it's okay. I got a free course as well. No worries. Remember, all my info, my socials are right here. My website is right here. If you notice, there's no WhatsApp. I don't have a WhatsApp. I will never WhatsApp you. So keep that in mind. So let's get the show started. Let's go. So tonight's live is talking about the top three crypto coins to trade, to invest, or swing trade. So let's make it happen. So off the bat, if you have the book, let's do it, folks. Go to the crypto chapter. Again, this is your digital class. For those who have never been to college or been to college, you know the professor starts it off the lecture, tells you where to go in the course material. So everyone, let's go. Um, I don't know if this was in the fourth edition. I don't remember, but the fifth edition has it for those of you that don't have it. Everyone jump to chapter Crypto Trading 101. Let's jump to Crypto Trading 101. I'm not going to say the page number because if you're watching this in the future with the sixth edition, you're like, what page? So let's go to that chapter. Crypto Trading 101, and I want you to follow along with how we do this. So let's make it happen. Boom, boom, boom. So let's go. I already know what they are. Well, I know, Sal, because you got the book. So let's go into it off the bat. So this is what we're going to cover tonight, all right? So I'm going to talk about mindset, my favorite. Again, here's the key word, folks. It's, the title should be my top three favorite, because I know people will be like, what about this one? What about this one? I'm not here to have a discussion or a debate about the coins that you like. There are hundreds of thousands of coins on this earth, crypto coins. I don't care for majority of them. I'm here to tell you my top three. I'm going to tell you them right now, why I like them, where I see them going. But I want you to do the analysis later and make your levels yourself. So I'm going to go over. So I'll give it to you right now. Let's go into it. So I'm going to talk about Bitcoin. I'm going to talk about Bitcoin because it's the overall state of the cryptocurrency. And then I'm going to go into my favorite, which are... Ethereum, Matic, FTM. I got those three. Boom. I gave it to you right there and then. You got it. So if you don't want to watch the rest of the episode, have a good night. I'll see you on Tuesday. But those are the top three. I'm going to go into those and I'm going to tell you why as well. I'm going to go deep into that. And then I'm going to cover the three biggest pump and dump. There were many pump and dump garbage stock, uh, crypto. By the way, if I say uh, stocks, I'm sorry. Uh, crypto. Latest one is Pepe, Doge. And Shiba Inu. I'm going to talk about your mindsets, majority of people on Earth's mindsets, about get rich quick schemes. I want to be rich today. If I could take this much, you could turn it to this much. So I'm going to start off the show covering that. I'm going to work backwards, by the way. I'm going to cover the pump and dump garbage. I was going to go into Bitcoin first, but now I'm already in the lecture mode. 
And my students say this to me all the time, no lecture, he's gonna start. I've started, folks, I've started with the lecture. So here's the thing. Many people get into the crypto community because they were like, oh my God, I could how much X my return? 10X, 20X, 30X, 100X, 5, whatever the case may be. I want you to be weary of anyone that tells you that give me this much, the scammers, I can turn it into this much, scammers. That's every scammer on social media. The fake ones, by the way, the ones that pretend they're me, the, all them, they say, send me some money, I'll quadruple the returns in a week. So let's stay away from that. Now, you'll get a lot of meme coins. This is not the end of it. Pepe coin is not new. Shiba's not new. Doge is not new. There's so many of them. Who remembers, um, damn it, come on, brain. I never watched that TV show that everyone talked about where you kill people. Come on, brain. Come on, come on, come on. Kill Squad? Stab Show? Oh, I don't remember the name of the show. But Squid Games. Thank you, brain. Squid Games. I don't know if you remember that one, but whoa, when it dumped, that thing just dumped instantaneously to nothingness. So these are not the first, these are not the last, these are not the in-betweens. I want you to remember that. So what this is the part I'll touch base on because I spoke about this last week before the collapse of uh, Pepe coin. By the time it becomes a normal conversation and everyone's talking about it in every Discord, every Twitter, I haven't been on IG, I've been off of it so I don't know what the talk on IG was because I haven't been on it. By the way, I've deactivated my account, I'll be back June 27th. I'll be back June 27th on all my social accounts that I've taken down. I just need a mental break. I do it all the time. I take a yearly time off because I don't need social media. I don't need people to sign up for anything. I don't need anybody's money. I'm good. Trading has blessed me more than you can imagine. This I enjoy doing. So this is a different conversation. I actually like coming here. So point being, Pepe, let's talk about it, right? Again, anytime someone shows you a coin that can do this to this crazy moves, just be wary. You work hard for your money. There, a day will come where you become consistent. A day will come where you have made a lot. I don't want you to fall off the bandwagon and say, you know what? Why not? Why not? Let's just put it all on this one. It's not my money anyway. I made this off the market. By the way, I used to have that mindset too. So I'm with you on this. We're on the same page. Us in the trading community, this is why uh, the trading community has been good to me. I, I like the trading community is because we're all on the same platform. We're all on the same level. It, the fact is, we all just want to make more money. That's all we want. It's a simple life, right? They say people just want food. They want good food, a nice home to come home to, and no drama in their area. The same thing with the trading community. You just want to make money, live your life, travel, not be stressed out. You want that. And once you get consistency, once you reach a level where you do really well, don't blow it all on some nonsense coin just because someone told you. I would never even tell you that. Well, I would do it in my close friends, but I would say speculative. I do that all the time. I, I say it. I'd mention it. By the way, um, on the secret Instagram, my, my students, my mentorship students, I will go live for however long you want me to answering whatever questions you want on the secret Instagram mentorship students. So um, just check the close friends uh, story I posted in Instagram, my secret one. Um, so after this ends, by the way, I'll go live over there. I'll do Q&A with you guys. I miss doing that. So back to the point. Don't throw away all your hard-earned hard money on a pump and dump. For example, Pepe. Let's talk about Pepe. I'm on the daily time frame, so let's let's start the conversation. Pepe is the coin. I'm on the daily time frame. All right, cool. So now here's the thing. Wait, let me check on the comments. You're the best. Just need to get out of there, Ruben. I need to get your book ASAP, man. Ruggins, the book is uh, in stock. The book is in stock. Uh, thousands of copies. Uh, boom. There you go. Link down below. So, nothing. Pump. Collapse. Now, Professor, should I buy the dip? Don't get it started, man. Don't get me started. I'm not even going to get into that conversation about buy the dip. All I'm saying is, choo, Pepe. Let's go to the next one. I'm going to cover the pump and dumps from the past two years. Let me see if I can fit the entire doge here. Hold on. Will it be possible to fit all of doge? Yep, it's possible. Yeah. Now the question is, can they see it? No, they can't really. Okay, you can see it, but not really. So let me try my best. 
So this one is Doge, Elon's favorite. So this is what I'll say about Doge. Elon is forever going to be pumping this thing. If you notice, usually every interview he talks about, he loves to bring up Doge, integrating it with Twitter because he, you know, now it's called X Corporation, the X Corporation. He wants to make it the everything app where he's going to run his transactions using Doge. That's the stuff he says. I don't know if it's true or not, but I'm sure he is because the way he talks about it so much. So Doge is the outlier here. But remember, since the origin, uh, origin of Doge collapse, pump, collapse, pump. By the way, all of what I'm doing now is going to set up to what I'm going to teach you later in the lesson about my top three favorite. And then straight collapse, sideways action, big pump. I'm sure there's something to do with Twitter, I'm sure. And then ever since that, a drop further and further down the rabbit hole it went. So when it comes to these coins, folks, again, by the time you hear about it, it's too late. With Doge now, I do say asterisk exemption if you want to trade it actively because once it pumps, wait for it to dump again, go sideways, wait for Elon to tweet something. Again, speculative. I would put Doge in the speculative area of when it comes to cryptocurrency. So there you go. Boom. By the way, shout out to all those watching me on a Friday night. I know these numbers are like three quarters, like way lower, but I like it this way. This has kept my mental sanity. So I appreciate every single one of you. Like gratitude, 100%. That's what brings me happiness. Like I like the small. You know, for those of you that are watching that probably want to get into social media, blowing up and getting a lot of views, as good as it sounds, as great as it is, don't get me wrong, it is mentally taxing and messes you up big time. I like the small audience. I like all of that. So thank you. So by the way, get the likes up. What are y'all doing? Get the damn likes up. What's wrong with y'all? <laughs> so let's go. So boom. So that's the story with Doge. Let me show you the next one now. The next one is Shiba. By the way, I'll tell you a story about Shiba. I bought into Shiba too, a thousand bucks. A lot of my students pressured me into it. I lost 400 bucks, 400 bucks, six, 500 bucks. I think I lost like four or 500 bucks on Shiba. I was pressured into it. I said, okay, okay, I'll do it. All right. Here we go. Oh, what a garbage stock. I swear to God. Such a garbage crypto. Sorry. Such a garbage crypto. So this one. Again, I'm on the daily time frame. This is Shiba on the daily. This is Shiba coin on the daily. So let's make it happen. Big pump. Rock pull collapse, massive pump again, round two. And then ever since then, just bloodshed across the board. Like I told you, if you notice these crypto coins in the beginning, before anyone knows what they truly are, before you could even buy it on Binance or Coinbase, they're on the other exchanges that are a little more underground. You can get it through them. But at the end of the day, like I said, it's, for those of you going to ask, well, how would you catch the next one, professor? I'm going to be straight. There are a lot of people who say there's ways of catching it with, without it being gambling because there are a lot of speculative coins out there as we speak, maybe in a few months from now. All you could do is this. Have, you should have your scalp trading account, swing trading account, investment account, speculative account. And I'm not, not gonna, I'm not gonna say a dollar amount because we're all on different levels when it comes to trading, financial wise. So what if let's just say a thousand bucks? No, let's go with, because people tell me that's too much sometimes. Let's go with five hundred bucks. You find out about five different speculative coins. You have five hundred bucks that you know it's okay. Put in a hundred bucks in one of them and leave it. Put in a hundred in another one. A hundred in another one. A hundred in another one. There's nothing wrong with doing that. There's nothing wrong with doing that. As long as you're not doing the stupidity of putting whatever's a lot in your definition. I'm just going to start saying that. Whatever is a lot to you. As long as you're not doing that, then you're fine. But then here's the other side of the coin, right? Let's say you put the 100 and that becomes, let's just say 100,000, 50,000, whatever. You ready for the other side? 
Because I'll tell you a lot about the other side. Because praise God, I'm on the other side. And the other side is worse than the side where I'll tell you the story. You put in 100, it becomes 100,000. Stay with me here on a speculative crypto coin. You got in early, praise God. Four of the ones you put it in went to nothing. That one exploded. Woo! You're not going to sell. You want more. You're not going to sell. Every night you will wake up checking that portfolio. Every weekend you will ruin your family gatherings with your spouse, with your parents, with your children, whatever. Gone are that is that life. You're going to not even sell. You're going to say you're going to sell. So that's number one. You're not going to sell because you think it's going to go higher. That's one. Number two, you are going to sell. Say you sold at 100,000. What am I? What is it? Oh my God, it's me. Say you sold at 100,000. You took 100,000 profit. Praise God. Now it went up. Oh damn, you could have been up 200,000. What did I do? Why did I stay longer? Why did I listen to these? So what are you going to do? You're going to put back even more. Oh, it's okay. I only put in $100 anyway. You're going to put in 200,000. While it's already ran up, thousand something percentage. And then it's going to come down. You're like, oh no, buy the dip. Everyone, well, uh, well, look at this article said, look at this, look. And it's going to be a never ending spiral to negative territory in that account of yours. That is the other side of this world of ours of stock trading, crypto trading, forex trading. Folks, I'm telling you as someone, my, my um, mentorship students knows where I do my private, inst uh, private lives on Zoom. I showed them the PNL. I told them how much I made. I don't talk about it publicly because I'm not here to impress anyone. Plus, everyone thinks everything's fake anyway. With my mentorship student, the benefit is I have nothing to sell them. I have nothing to prove to them. They already know who I am and what level I'm on, and I show it to them. Because to me, they matter because they, you know, they're my mentorship students. So point being, understand the, uh, understand. understand the other side of the coin as well. You will not win. You will not win when you're consistent. You will not win when you're consistently profitable. The battle never stops because you're going to want more. It's never going to be enough. You think that I'm happy with 500 professors more than my nine to five is double a thousand. Uh -uh. Coming, trust me. If I told you how much I made, you wouldn't even believe it anyway. You'll say it's paper trading. Like everyone thinks everything is. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. Remember that. Keep that in mind. What you want are stable gains slow hits. I know everyone says that, but I'm just telling you the truth. That's what it is. Because at the end of the day, you keep aiming to hit a lot. Even if you do, you can hit all of them. You will never be satisfied. No, I will. No, no, you won't. Take it from someone that's on that side already. It is a horrific feeling. That feeling sucks. Trust me. Trust and believe it, folks. All right, so let's go. Any questions on what I've said? I'll answer some questions. Before I go deeper into the lesson, any questions? Let's go. Ask me whatever you want, folks. Go, go, go. Tribals from Dominican Republic. What's up, Gene? I'm still in it. 300 bucks. Clement, what are you in? What are you talking about? Are you talking about Pepe coin? I'm guilty of that mindset. There you go, Thomas. There you go. Boom. Shaquille says, finally caught the live. Set up notifications, baby boy. I got I got uh, the live set up all the way to June. No questions? No questions? Hey, Professor, do you know a crypto platform legal in New York for futures trading? I don't, and I I, I, I know, but I can't say it because I don't want to get in trouble telling you stuff that I know I live in New York is not legal. So I can't tell you things. I don't want to say illegal, I, you know, the ways around the system. I'm not getting in trouble. You're still in Shiba? <laughs> <laughs> baby boy jesus jesus any questions before i go into the lesson anything else ask or forever hold your peace that's it okay all right let's go so let's go into the lesson now i spoke about let's go so let's start it off let's start off with bitcoin and i'll work our way I'm going to start with Bitcoin. By the way, Bitcoin, I love Bitcoin. Bitcoin's great. I have Bitcoin, but that's not the point of the conversation. That's not one of my top three favorite. So boom. Let's go. Let's go full screen. All 
All right. So let's start the conversation off just for the record. I know the date will be down below in the video, but I'll just say it out loud. It is May 12th, 2022. Sorry, oh my bad. 2023. I don't really care about the year. Sometimes I'm thrown off because I don't know, you know, I live my life day to day. So May 22, sorry, May 12th, 2023. Sorry. That's what the date is. And yes, I believe in Bitcoin. Bitcoin's price right now is 26,000. It's doing a pullback. So if you don't believe in crypto, I'm with you. Okay, I understand. You think it's fake. I know because everyone says it's fake. I get you. But there's money to be made in it. There's money to be made in cryptocurrency. That's all you need to understand at the end of the day. Don't believe it? Believe it. People think Forex is a scam. There's money to be made in Forex. So keep that in mind. People say, oh, stock market's manipulated. It is manipulated. God bless. What isn't manipulated? Your girlfriend manipulates you. Your wife, your husband manipulates you. Everyone's being manipulated by somebody. Your boss does it to get you to work more and get more done. So stop this antics and just understand there's money to be made in every single market if your eyes can see where there's money to be made. So let's get the conversation started. So always look at Bitcoin first. So let's start the conversation off. Bitcoin has pumped because of the banking situation. For those that might not know the history of it that happened. And now... It is slowly coming down. We're holding at 26,000. We are slowly, there is a level of support, the level of resistance. Let's see if we get a bounce. It has been going sideways, but a downtrend has formed. Let's see what happens. We'll go back to the low 20,000s, and that will bring the altcoin market down with it. So keep that in mind before you buy any Matic or FTM or whatever the hell, Ethereum, whatever the hell you decide to buy. So that's what I would say to you. Always look at Bitcoin before you look at any other crypto to see how that's doing. Because whatever Bitcoin does, the entire market will do. When the next bull run starts, altcoins, best believe, are going back up big time. So let's talk about it. Bitcoin, like I said, has room to fall. It has been overextended. It is holding steady around that 26,000 mark. So now there's that analysis. So let's go. I'm going to work backwards. I'm going because I know a lot of people, I have ranges for everybody. There's certain people like, Professor, I can't afford a Bitcoin. That's fine. You can buy pieces of it. So I got Ethereum at 1800. I'm going to get to Ethereum afterwards. Okay. I'm going to hold on to that because I want, I'm going to start with the lowest, cheapest one at 36 cents right now. So FTM, here we go. I love FTM. I'm on the weekly time frame to show you the history of FTM. Here we go. Let's go full screen. So let's start. Why I like FTM. Here we go. Again, I am on the weekly time frame. The weekly time frame. Ticker is FTM. Time frame is weekly. I'm going to tell you why I like it. But before I tell you why I like it, can one of you tell me why you think I like it? What do you think? Can someone tell me, let's see who's been following me long enough. Why do you think I like FTM? What I just did on the chart. While you guys look at that, I'll answer some comments. I'll answer some comments while you guys tell me. The Caribbean need teachers like you. Well, I'm here. I'm here. All the people in the Caribbean have to do is click a button and catch me on YouTube. Is there a good percentage to take profits to combat the greed? Jasmine, if you want the truth, there's no real number. You can't combat it. It's never ending. It's a human being problem. I'm just telling you the truth. You could say take a quarter, 50%. It just never is enough. It's just ingrained in us the way we were designed. Boom. How do you keep track of taxes for crypto trading? Um, Vlad, your broker sends you a, um, a tax form at the end of the year. Boom. I want to be in your mentorship class in uh, September. Uh, Clement, click down below. Mentorship information is only two months left. September, November. Click down below in the description. Go sign, sign up. Can the, physical coin, can the physical coin be owned? No, it's digital. When you buy my book, you get a... I don't know where it is, but you get a Bitcoin or Ethereum for free. Yo, what's up, Eric? Little head and shoulders. I'm late. Thank you, Eric, for the uh, showing up. Hey, I appreciate you showing up. Sideways, market stages, phase one, follow pattern. There you go, Pet Doc. Got it. Pet Doc got it. Follows clean patterns. 
The market moves in three ways. That's it. It moves in three ways. Three trends. That's it. It has a smooth flowing to it. It moves nice and flowy. That's what you need to understand. If you notice the pump and dump ones I showed you, they pump, they dump, they pump and they dump and they go back into obscurity, into nothingness. That's what you need to understand. With the ones I like, follow clean trends across the board. I love it. The kind words in the comments, man. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Well, do you believe the dollar will fail? Eventually, not tomorrow or anytime soon. Um, finally bought the book. Can't wait to get it. Thank you, Miguel. Uh, Elizabeth, the book is awesome. I'm hoping to make it to November mentorship. Thank you, Elizabeth. Appreciate it. Thank you. But don't all market move three ways. Yep, yep, Shaquille, 100%. Everything moves three ways. But look at the difference between the garbage pump and dump I showed you. These have a clean trend to it. Clean trend to it. That's all I'm saying. This is, again, FTM on the weekly time frame. Now let me show you on the uh, daily time frame. Let me try to zoom in as much as I can. There's a lot of data on the daily. So this is FTM on the daily time frame. You tell me. Tell me not clean stages from the book. If you know my strategy when it comes to scalp trading, swing trading, investing, I want clean moving stocks or clean moving crypto coins that follow clean trends that you can actually see and understand where a child could follow along with it. You're not overwhelmed. You're not taxing yourself too much mentally to try to understand what the hell is going on. And with FTM, gentle mover, and like I said, 37 cents. That's why I'm working backwards here. For those people that are like, it's too much, 37 cents? Come on now, you waste that like it's nothing. So let's go back to the weekly. All you have to do, you go make the levels yourself, is for it to stop falling, start going sideways, mark my word in the next book. Well, I've been talking about this forever. Hold up a second. I've been talking about this long enough so let's see what was the high on this bad boy what was the high of this bad boy roughly three dollars and 64 65 cents roughly now it's 37 cents i was talking about this you can go back to my old videos i've been talking about this forever i don't even have to go back the videos are there on youtube i'm pretty sure i've mentioned it multiple times so if you want a good one to start accumulating, you could buy $2 a day or $5 a week, $10 a week, $100 a month. You know, people, Warren Buffett always says, put it in an ETF like the SPY. God bless him. I'm with that program. But why not put it in something that gives you the biggest bang for your return? You know, people will say, diversify. Don't put your eggs in all in one basket. So now people are not going to like what I'm about to say, unfortunately. They're not going to like what I'm about to say. I agree with it. I'm not going to disagree with that. But why wouldn't you do that once you actually have stacked up a considerable, considerable amount of money? Start diversifying. But in the beginning, your focus should be on one thing, laser focus, to make that thing go well. Like today in economics class, I was talking about um, teaching business management, business creation, right? And one of my students was talking about how Oh, he was, he was designing a clothing company. I was giving him ideas on how to enhance his business and make it even better. And one of them said, oh, why are you worried so much about the business now? What about expansion? How are you going to expand the company to three to four locations? And I'm going, expansion? 
Majority of businesses fail in the first year. Look at the statistic. What is it, 90 something percent of businesses fail the first year and you're already trying to think about the next location? Your mission should be on the one business, one idea, one thing, all of it on the one thing. And then once you get really good and the money starts coming in, then you open up a second location or focus on other ideas to expand financially. That's what you do. Put, put everything into one basket. Learn that basket. Take care of that basket with all your life force. Just one. Whatever that one egg is. Put it in there and work it out. Boom. That's what I would tell you on that. Put in 10 bucks or 100 bucks a month on FTM or Matic. I'll talk about that next. Whichever one you want or both. Put up a little bit. Coinbase, has, you can't buy this on Coinbase. You got to get Binance. But point, point, point. Ah. All right, let's come back. I'm thirsty. And there's no water around. So that's what I would tell you to do. Put in whatever you can afford. Again, it's only in the 36 cents. Boom. Boom, boom. All right. So that's FTM. That's FTM. Go plan out the levels yourself. Next one. Matic. Let's go. So if you watch my live uh, Tuesday and last week, I said, do not buy it right now. You can go check the recording. It's saved. You know, it's not like me. I'm doing, I literally told you a few days ago and a week ago, don't buy Matic right now. Wait for it to fall more. And it's continuing its downwards move into the mid 70 cents, 80 cents, 0. 0.80 to uh, 0.75. That range right there. That range right there. Boom. So if you want to, if you want to. So let's talk about this. Let me get rid of these levels. No, 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 I need them. Let's go invisible for a second. All right, so let's talk about Matic now. Why I like Matic so much. Here we go. By the way, did anyone go check on, um, what do you call that? What's the other, Twitch? Am I, am I good on Twitch? Okay, guys, give me two seconds. Let me just te- check Twitch. How the hell do you check, t- uh, am I live? Where am I, what does it say that? No idea. Guys, I'm sorry, I just wanted to see if I'm live on Twitch. I have no, I just, I just use it for the first time. There it is. I am live. Hey, I see the comments. All right, guys, give me, let me show some love on Twitch. Hey, Professor, what's up, Luca? Luca, are you the same Luca coming to the mentorship next week? Sounds great, silent majority. Hey, Professor, what's up, Bishop? Stage one, yes, we're good on Twitch. Thank you, Luca. It's fine over here on Twitch. Nice. Nice. Oh, look at all the people that followed me. Appreciate all of you. Thank you. I love it. I love it. Wow, okay. Nice. I have three people watching me on Twitch. Let's go. Thank you, three people on Twitch. Let's go. Yeah, that's me. I'll see you in New York. Nice, Luke. I'll see you next week, baby boy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Why is there a black box here? Why is there a black box on my screen? Maybe that's only I can see it. Who knows? All right, cool. Good to be on Twitch, too. All right, let's go back. Let's go back to the lesson. Hold on. Let me move that out the way. Let's go back. All right, cool. All right, next week, we'll try to go live on Rumble. (laughs) I do have three screens here. All right, so let's go back. Matic, everybody. So Matic right now is 85 cents. So boom on that one. Uh, Let's do it. Again, same thing I was talking about in the other coins. What the hell was that? Okay, that's some Twitch stuff. Hey, I just got a new follower. Let's go, Samson. It makes a cool noise when somebody follows you. Nice. Nice. Thank you, Samson. All right, so there we go. Clean trends. Very simple. I made the lesson pretty simple here. Matic follows a clean trend, and no one can complain about the price. Professor, it's too expensive. It's 85 cents. And for anyone that's been following me long enough... Okay, that's another follower. Wait, let me mute that. That's loud as hell. Shout out to whoever just followed me. Let me mute that. That is loud. Oh my God. I don't know if you guys can hear that. 
But mo holy moly, that's a loud sound. Shout out to Twitch, letting people know you got followers. I wish YouTube did that. All right, so I've been talking about this thing since it was 30 cents. 30 cents. And the high is roughly around three bucks, roughly. S similar to FTM. FTM has the biggest return on your um, investment because it's much lower and has a possibility of going or even higher than Matic. So there you go. And like I said, it is on a downtrend. It is pulling down. My suggestion is ultimately, I will also take it. I want it to go sub 80 and see how it looks like. Sub 80. 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80 is a really strong level of support. So boom on that one. Just watch Bitcoin. Whatever Bitcoin does, Matic and everybody else will do the same thing. So that's it on the weekly time frame. Let's look at it on the daily time frame. Same thing, same, like I said, I don't have to. Clean moving trends, clean moving trends. And I, I've talked about this a long time, but if you can do this on your own, because I don't want to spend time because I've done it so many times already, I want you to notice how it has more green days than red days. I'll say that again. When you go and do the analysis on these crypto coins, because I want you to spend the weekend analyzing on your own. Just don't take everything I say or anyone says face value. Always question everything someone tells you, again, including me. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. We all make mistakes on anything we could say. So I do want you to go and analyze your analyze this over. What the hell's wrong with me? I want you to go and analyze this after the live ends over the weekend. Use the book, that chapter I told you about. I did a whole chapter in the book about trading cryptocurrency. Use that. I've enhanced it into as small as focused as I can. So go analyze Matic and see the benefits. You can get this on Coinbase, Binance, all the bro um, uh, brokers. And I want you to set up auto trade. Like I said, if you spend, I don't know how much coffee costs. I don't drink coffee, but a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, put in a hundred bucks a week. 100 bucks a month, whatever you think is reasonable, just like Warren Buffett, and I agree, like I said, put in an auto um, buy, or I wouldn't do auto buy, I would just, when it falls at a key level of support, starts going sideways, I would just buy whatever is a lot in your, not a lot, sorry, whatever is the money you wanna invest in your way. Swing trade it, if you wanna open up two separate brokers, Binance or Coinbase, one for swing trading, one for investing, if you want to d differentiate. Why the hell not? And like I said, and I begged y'all, I had some messages come to me, said, Professor, you were right, I should have sold Matic when it was in the high dollars. I, what was it, dollar, twenty dollars? I should have sold, I didn't want to sell because I thought it was going back to three. Even though you say every time, stop it already. I told y'all, imagine if you sold it and reloaded. Sold it, reloaded. Sold it, reloaded. Again and again and again. It's not going to $3 anytime soon, folks. We have to get out this mindset and it's going to take some time. You know, the uh, mistakes are our best lessons. Mistakes are our best lessons when it comes to these things. So keep that in mind. So point being, absolutely love Matic. Follows clean trends. And I am much happier... I was saying this to myself because I planned this lesson like a month or two ago that I was going to do this. I was hoping, I was like, please let Matic and all the crypto be devastated when I do this lesson. That way when you're actually enticed to go and look and study and put some money in. Because when it's already been moved up so much, I would say, chill out. Unless you're investing in it, then it's a different conversation. But like I said, it has room to go back into the 80s to sub 75s where it loves to be. So that is Matic right here. Next one, let's keep it going. Now, the all time, my all time favorite. I love Ethereum so much. For those that have the book, turn it around, go to my school's logo. Ethereum is in the school's logo, just so you know how much I love it. 
I just don't talk about it as much because I made it so obvious I love it. I'm like, okay, chill out. Chill out. Chill out at this point. So let's do it. Ethereum, it is at 1800 For those that have been with me long enough, I've been talking about this since this was in the hundreds. I believe I started talking about it in the three to six hundreds, and then I really got aggressive in the one thousands. I'm like, people, please get somatic. Sorry, Ethereum. So this, this has always been my favorite. So let's make it happen. I'm on the weekly time frame. Do I even have to do this for Matt, uh, Ethereum? But okay. ETH on the weekly time frame. Follows clean, clean trends. Follows clean trends. What's wrong with me? Follows clean trends. Ethereum, you cannot go wrong. Second biggest market cap. First at Bitcoin, then it's Ethereum in the crypto world. So you can't go wrong with it. They say, is it going to overtake Bitcoin, all that stuff? I'm not getting into speculation. Nobody really knows any of these type of things. Let's be honest. At the end, no one really knows. You can, All you can do is just analyze what you see in front of you on the charts. So keep that in mind. So like I said, can't go wrong with Ethereum. If you want to put this in your long-term portfolio, the high of this was in the high 4,000s. And we are at 1800. So boom, we still have a lot of room to go to the upside. Let's go to the daily time frame. This also, what the hell? This also got pumped heavily with Bitcoin and now it is also coming down. If you want a good buy level, see what happens in the 1500s, 1600s as Bitcoin comes down. Because like I've said it, Bitcoin does have room to fall. It does have room to fall. The stuff with the banks wasn't as bad as people thought it was because the government came and bailed out the banks. Bitcoin should have exploded in a free market. In true capitalism, the banks should have failed. They were over leveraged, gambling with our money, the depositors money. All the bad stuff that they do, the government always comes to their defense. They won't come and look after us when time comes, but they will happily save the banks if things go wrong. So that's what happened here. Satoshi Nakamoto created Bitcoin to protect us against the banks in 08, but the government just keeps coming back to save them and save them and save them. That's why you should have some gold, silver, Bitcoin, boom, to protect you on that front right there. So that's my point across the board on all the tickers I spoke about. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Matic, FTM, clean trends, slow, gentle movers, biggest return you can get is FTM, then Matic, and then ETH when it comes to that. Set up auto buy if you want. If you don't believe in crypto, trade a dollar worth of it. Coinbase has something called Coinbase Zero, where you pay a monthly subscription and you could trade unlimited. I think the limit is like 30,000 or 50,000. I don't remember. But there's a limit on that, how much you can. Play with FTM, 100 bucks a week, 200 bucks a week, just cause, just to, for you to feel it out. And then be like, oh, this is how much I could have made? Try that out. And then also go study Pepe, Doge, and Shiba to see, excuse me, the, how garbage of a crypto coin they are. And then more will come. More crypto garbage coin will come. Let me show you something. So I'm going to show you guys a website, okay? It's called coinmarketcap.com. If you go to it, uh, it's tweaking right now. Hold on. Is it tweaking? It's tweaking. It's not doing what I need it to do. All right, let's try that again. If you go to coinmarketcap.com, click, you got recently added, trending. If you click on trending, It'll show you all the crypto coins that are trending right now. Because I know some of you are going to be like, well, Professor, tell me how to find the next Pepe or next Doge or next Shiba before they explode. As much as I don't want you to do that, I'll show you how to do it as long as you make a vow with me that you'll risk manage, 
put in a little bit and understand this will be your speculative portfolio. And there's nothing wrong with having those. You can have fun, you know. So, boom. So, point being, coinmarketcap.com, the most trending ones as of now, the one that's trending is Milady Meme, Pepe, Kappa, Chupa, I think that's supposed to say Chupacabra, but it says Kappa Cabra, Sui, Ordinals, El Capo of Crypto, and, and other nonsense. I bet you majority of them has already been devastated. And then you got recently added ones and a whole bunch of stuff like that. That's the site I'll give you to go see which crypto coins are moving and then go find the broker. KuCoin, if you want a broker to trade everything. And by the way, I didn't want to mention this, but I'm saying, you know what? I'll mention it. You can short Pepe. You can short these garbage pump and dump cryptos. Risk manage, stop loss. Stop looking at how much you can make. Start looking at how much you can lose. That'll change the whole game for you. Once you start seeing how much you can lose, you will risk manage a lot better instead of seeing how much can I make on this trade? How much can you lose on this trade? How much are you willing to lose? Keep that in mind. I want you to use the app. KuCoin. Don't put too much money in this app. This app could be gone tomorrow. Put a little bit, whatever that definition is for you. And on KuCoin, you can short these garbage crypto coins. But make set a stop loss. Set a physical stop loss. Because you could be sleeping in the middle of the night and something insane can go wrong. So please set a physical stop loss when it comes to cryptocurrency overnight. Anything could happen the weekend. Anything could happen. So if you want to make money, you can on the downside with KuCoin. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. And that's my lesson for tonight. Thank you for everyone joining me on a Friday night. It means the world to me. You don't even know that you guys came because if nobody watched, then I wouldn't have a show. You know, I know I left IG. That was where my biggest audience is. But mentally, it was messing me up. I left Twitter. Twitter is just a mess. Holy moly. This nonsense everyone talks about. People just d talk down about every trader under the sun. I'm like, I'm out of this place. I try to mute and block as many people as possible, but nonsense is keep coming on. I don't care about what other people are doing. I don't care about other people's feuds and drama. Like, I don't want it. So I left that too. So there you go. So thank you for joining me on YouTube and Twitch, and we'll try Rumble. We'll try Rumble. I just need a few more followers over there. So pull up to Rumble um, as well. Let's go live on all three platforms. So thank you, everyone. Enjoy your weekend. Go study what I told you and everything you need is linked down below. I don't have a WhatsApp. I will never DM you. Trust me. It ain't ever happening. So on that note, good night, YouTube. And then I'm going to figure out how to leave Twitch. So good night, YouTube. I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Yep, I go live on Tuesday. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go.